Okay, so let's look at this website here. This is by uh, Howard uh, Yu, who is a director out in, I think it's a Bronx director, director out in Melbourne from uh, LOC Entrepreneurs. I think some of you know Howard, some of you may not know him, but um, he's very actually visionary entrepreneur thinking ideas, okay? So they have a team website and this is a personal website. So I'm gonna keep it up here for a second. And what are some comments, what are some things you like about this website? Good, it's pictures. Okay, good. Lead capture, very good. Uh, clean, right? Clean. A free gift. Okay, simple. So a lot of got, got a lot of good things going for the site. Okay. Um, anything else? Members area, right? So simple URL. You Howard, very good. The URL is very important. Unique title. Classy. Okay. Good pictures. Anything that could be better. Okay, you guys are so nice to him. Anything that could be better. Anything could be better. And I'm, I'm pulling up the website on my iPad too. He don't like sunglasses. Okay. That's the way he brands himself. Okay. What else? League magnet before entering site. All right. All right, I'm going to share a few things. Um, first of all, any, wait, anything else? Keep typing. Busy on one page. All right, so, and I, so this is a very good, um, uh, a bright in colors. Okay, so this is a very good, um, that kind of internet marketing training. Here. Okay, well, appear to Gen Y's looks cool, but not before older generation. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go over each one of these comments here. The first of all, in terms of the pictures, uh, I agree with you. It doesn't seem uh, Josie. I don't th see. I don't think he wants to appear to older people. If he did, of course, all the pictures he has here is with young people. So if you're older, you're probably not that you're not that attracted to this guy anyway. Right, so uh, so it's I, I, I think his intent is to attract younger people. So, uh, but you're right. If it's for older crowd, I probably wouldn't be attracted to them. Okay, the uh, Randy, the league magnet. You do not want a league magnet before entering the site, okay? because nowadays people don't uh, people don't want to fill out anything to in order to get a site. I mean, let, let me ask you, Randy, what would bring build credibility? Um, what would you rather do? Just start reading the site or have to fill something out to access the site? Like most people don't want to fill anything out to access the site. They want to read first. So getting to Marge's comment, it's actually good that he has content on there. Okay, It's about the content. Don't focus so much about, it goes back to what we talked about. Don't worry about the design and the look. People want content. And you should never let the design of a site hold you back. The design can always come later. The content is like your foundation. Once you have the foundation, you can, like the design is kind of like renovations. And with, uh, you know, WordPress is very simple. You can add plugins, like the stuff like Scott talked about. You can add plugins here and there. You can dress up, dress up the site, okay? But you want to have the content. So it's actually good that he has content. For SEO purposes, search engine, Google purposes, you want content. So the fact is a lot of words here is good. Uh, now, and he has like the league magnet here. Learn how to easily discover your hidden potential, which is good, right? So he can still, even though he has a lot of words, it still captures them because the lead magnet is in red, orange colors that tracks your eye there. So Margie, does that make sense? Uh, so Annette, actually Annette said that. Annette, so it's okay to be busy. 
A busy is actually good. It shows you that you have good stuff. You know, I mean, most people are not going to read it anyway, but he has a blog and stuff. So it means that he, this guy is uh, credible. He has a lot of content. A lot of, he knows a lot of things, right? But at the same time, even though it's busy, he's got your eyes attracted to the free gift and also the orange thing, get access now. Learn how to easily discover your hidden potential. Now, one thing that it could be better is that um, the <clears throat> league magnet is not above the fold, okay? Meaning, uh, if you pull it up, I, I don't know about, maybe maybe, maybe it doesn't work. Uh, maybe uh, on a computer, it's different. Uh, I, I see, I have a 30-inch screen, so it's a little different, right? But most people don't have 30-inch screens. Um, if you pull onto Jeremy's laptop, right? If you pull up Jeremy, if you pull up your laptop, youhoward.com, on a separate browser, will can you see the lead magnet right away without scrolling down? That's the question, right? If you can't see it, then it's no good because people may skim it. So on the iPad, if you pull on the iPad, the you see all these great pictures, right? But who knows what it is? The lead magnet is below the fold, and I actually have to scroll down. And some people may not even scroll down. They may click away already. And so, for example, some people uh, like the older people, older crowd, right? They see all these young pictures. I'm not interested. So maybe just jump right off. But if they actually saw to learn how to easily discover your hidden potential first, they actually may be interested. Hey, I mean, I may not like this guy, but let me see what he's about. Okay. Oh, so Mike, so you can only see the words on your desktop. Yeah, so it really depends on your desktop resolution, how big your screen is. I mean, Mike, you're using a desktop, right? Um... I mean, on Jeremy or your laptop, you can see it. On an iPad, you definitely can see it. And now more and more people use iPads. So that's a room for improvement. You can probably make these pictures smaller or put the... Uh, and, and I'm guilty of that. I used to love these slider things, okay? And, and I'm actually in the process of getting maybe removing my slider. Uh, there's been tests that saying sliders don't work well anymore. You know, so... Uh, but it's a lot of technical work with Scott's like thinking about doing it, don't want to do it. But uh, sliders are good. They look pretty. But does it really convert? You don't know. The uh, So being above the fold, another thing is uh, get your free gift uh, should be, it's kind of confusing here. Um, I mean, what should I do? Should I get the free gift? Or well, let me see if I click here. How do I benefit from this free gift? Uh, so if I click on a free gift, Okay, let me see if I click on the free gift. Okay, if I click on the free gift, you see this. Uh, how do I benefit from this free gift? What's next after I uh, subscribe? Okay, so it basically, uh, actually it's pretty good here. Uh, it tells you you actually get emails. You get nine emails. So someone asked this question. Did someone ask this question about what type of emails to send for prospects? Someone asked this question before? Um, was it on the five star mastermind or diamond mastermind? Someone asked this question, right? What type of emails do you send to your prospects? Uh, after so, this is very good. So, email one, something you'll never learn in school, right? You will never learn this in school. So, if you said that you're going to learn something you never learned in school, would that increase your chance of filling out the form to get this lesson? Yes, no, yes, it's pretty good, right? Um, that alone is good enough. I, I want to learn what I never learned in school. Okay. Uh, like, you know, Dr. Bernd, I'm a doctor. I want to learn something I never learned in school. Uh, number two is, do you get your, your invincible asset? Okay. Number three, how to adapt to the 20th century. Actually, it shouldn't be 20th century. It should be 21st century. He's still talking about uh, old IBM PC Windows. It's 21st century, not 20th century. How to build your rock solid foundation. The power of your vision. Is your current vehicle fast or slow? How to give life a meaning. You can't control the past, but I can teach you how to control the future. The four golden keys that double your income. So these are actually pretty decent copyright headlines. Decent headlines. Some of them could be better. Some of them uh, not that great. Uh, but they're pretty good. I mean, in general, I would say they're above average headlines. Okay, You will never learn in school four golden keys that double your income. That sounds pretty good. Instead, but instead of spelling four, I'll put the number four. 21st century. Okay. Uh, power of your vision. That doesn't really make much sense. But this is pretty good. See, so he actually tells you nine self-development materials. Uh, instead of using self the word self-development, maybe education. 
nine educational emails, nine business school emails, something like that. Because most people out on the street, do they know what self-development is? If you ask most people, not 20 people out on the street, if you ask them self-development, would they know what self-development is? No, right? No, I mean, I'll be honest. Before the business, I never knew what self-development was. So by saying self-development, um, Howard, you're basically telling people that um, they don't know. They can't relate to, they don't understand what you're talking about. So education or business school, business education, business education. You always want to communicate in terms that your prospect would understand. Okay, not what we understand, but what our potential prospects understand. And, and most universities, kids at university, most university students will never understand what self-development is anyway. Okay, um, and that's like the tough part. It's like the we have to forget where we are and put the shoes in our perspective. Whenever you're writing content and marketing, think of where your down your downline or your prospect is. Put in their shoes. Put yourself in their shoes. So what do I need to do? Fill out the form below. That's good. It tells them to take action. Uh, enjoy your newsletter, right? So here's a little confusing though. Am I getting a newsletter or I'm getting an email? I'm kind of confused. You're telling me I'm getting nine emails, but I'm also getting a newsletter. So what is it? You got to be congruent. Congruent. There's no congruency here. Oh, but by the way, I'm like ripping his thing up. This, but this is pretty well done. This is more than the better ones I've, I've seen. Um... So every month, a lucky subscriber will win an exclusive free meal with me. Wow, free meal. Once you subscribe, you're automatically eligible to be a lucky subscriber. Okay. And the PS, actually, this is funny. Howard reserves the right to decide the location of the free meal. So the free meal cannot be at a five-star restaurant. It has to be at McDonald's. He, he decides the location of the free meal. PPS, if you're interested to know more on how I can help and coach people, you can contact me. All right. <laughs> you can go to KFC. There's a KFC down your street now, Mike. Um, so, by the way, PS is good. PS is, is one of the most common things people read. People read the headline, and normally they skim down, they read the PS. Okay. Um, so, a couple of feedback here. The PS should be bolded. Bolded. Okay. Um, like highlight the bolded so they can see it. The email, one, two, three, four, that's a really good stuff. I think you wrote the best part of the page. This should be highlighted or bullet pointed in some way. Uh, I don't like the free meal because here's a general rule. When you're giving a call to action, you want to give one call to action, right? One call, you don't want to throw too many things out because it makes you, number one, it makes you look desperate. Uh, number two, it confuses. You want to have one offer. Not two, three different offers. So here is, again, it's confusing. Newsletter or emails, and you get a free meal, right? Your offer should be so good that I don't, you don't need that free meal to get people to fill this out. And my reaction is, if you need a free meal offer, then maybe this is not even that good, right? Think of something you've really wanted in the past. Did that person have to entice you to, to have a contest to win like a free raffle or free meal in order to, for you to take action? Have anyone have a, you know, something, name something you wanted? Did they have to use a contest to get you to do it? It's irrelevant, right? It's irrelevant. So by adding the free match, it hurts you. It hurts, it hurts his offer. Uh, it's just like when you, when you want to sponsor some people, you want to give one call to action, you know? Um, but you can give them op one, one quarter, one offer, one call to action. But in general, this is pretty good. He's got a Facebook here. Just 2,700 people liking him. Um, but let's get back to the homepage. Okay. Here, it's uh, the reason to go back to the homepage is confusing. There's two offers here. Should I click and get the free gift or I shall learn how to easily discover your hidden potential? How many of you think this is two different things or how many of you think it's the same thing? This is two different or is it the same thing? From the first time you looked at it, it seemed like two different things, right? It looks like two different things. Uh, how many of you still think it's two different things? How many of you still think it's two? You're not sure. Reader's not sure. Who else? I actually think, I think, I think it's the same thing. You know, well, actually, most of you are neither not sure, actually, you think it's different. Janet, you think it's different. 
Kate, you think is not sure. Croissants or crust, you and I, we think it's the same thing. So the fact that we don't know is really bad. There's no clear call to action. It should be one thing. I actually think it's the same thing. Oh, actually, it is the same thing because I actually look at the, I can see a little bit uh, because if you look at the uh, get access now, underneath there, okay, underneath there, in tiny print, it should be a privacy policy saying that um, you're, we're not going to sell your info to other people. But instead, it says every month, a lucky subscriber will win an exclusive free meal with Howard. There's just a free meal. So it is the same thing, okay? But it's confusing. So you either make the box bigger or you um, don't put it there, okay? Or like I said, that that little uh, web page with the free gift is really good, but I would not put it on the homepage. You're distracting people from taking action. So you always want one clear to act, call to action. Okay, um, let me see. At the top there, free gift. Yeah, see, at the top is this free gift that takes you there. Uh, let's see, blog. Blog launches a different page. Okay, so, okay, so blog is pretty good. It's different categories. Leadership, marketing, mindset, self-development, success habits, recommended reading list. Okay, so you actually has a recommended reading list here. It's very good. Right, very good stuff. Okay. Uh, blog, okay. So let's go back to the reading list. This is good. So you actually put a lot of time into it. Like I said, this is better than most uh, distributors' websites. I mean, would you agree that this is better than most websites you've seen from distributors? Right? Now, the content, that's why the content is important. Just start creating content. Do you, most people, are they going to read a lot of content? If, like, if you go to the website, like Mike, you're, are you going to read all the content on here? Are you going to read all the web blog pages? Most people are not going to read it. They may see it. So it doesn't matter if you have garbage out there, really. No one's actually going to read it. They may read one. If you want to put your best post, put it at the top. All the garbage posts, put it at the bottom. And like I said, the, I, I used the term garbage, but like if you look at my first post like five, six years ago, they're pretty crappy compared to what I do today. Just get started, you get better. Don't worry, but just get it, get it going. But if you go to a site that's only one post, it doesn't build credibility. It actually takes away your credibility. So the thing is to be consistent, just create content. And then even if they're not the best content, you leave it on there. People see it. Most people are not going to read it, but you put most people may read your first top two, at most two posts, probably one. And you put your best one on top. Okay, so if there was like seven, like um, Mike's reaction was there's no content on there. That's his first reaction. Not that it was good, good picture, nothing. It was just no content. That was the initial reaction, right? So even if you have other things, even the blank things, he, he would have said that. And eventually he may find out. But the initial reaction was negative already because there's all this white space. So he's got to spend time in putting content. Let, let me take a look at his blog, how long it is. Um. So he has good pictures here. Wow. Very good post. Right, there's a lot of good stuff here. Good, good, probably very good post. Um, I'm not reading it. I'm just looking at the pictures. He has good formatted really well. Right? Really good stuff. And your post can probably be just be half the size. Okay? 300, 500 words. Because, again, most people are not going to read it. Right? Uh, this is probably really good content, but when you go to the blog page, you got to have a lot of things on there. Okay, uh, let's see what else is on. Let's see members area. Oh, Australia, Malaysia, networking workshop. That's pretty cool. Different areas, Australia, Malaysia, networking. Um, again, I would not put, okay, what's the benefits of putting Australia, benefits or disadvantages of putting Australia and Malaysia? What's the pros and cons? What's the pros and cons? Yeah, you're limited, Mike says, you limit other areas, two countries. So if I'm in the U.S., that means you can't help me, right? Uh, you can't help me then. So I would actually eliminate those regions. Find a way to, I don't know, technically, just don't put the regions in there. Let me click on Australia. It defines your audience, define, and uh, yeah, defines your limitations too. Hey, now... <clears throat> Now, after you log in, then you maybe can uh, segment them into different countries. But by doing this, it's not, it's not a good thing. Um, now, let's see about me. Oh, very good. You know, professional. He's got the lovely sunglasses. 
I don't know about putting sunglasses is a good thing. You really can't see its face. It takes away credibility. Trust. So I know he wants to be cool, but it's the trust thing. So he has the call to action, the league magnet, right? <laughs> yeah, Randy. They want to see your eyes. Um, so you see this image at the bottom here? That's pretty good. Learn how to easily discover your hidden potential, right? Just like I said before, it's free. Okay, free is not necessarily a good thing now. Free, everything is free. You don't need to say before. Um, it's almost like people expect it to be free. And Tim, you said that uh, don't really think the sun, sunglasses work if, for Gen Ys either. Okay, so there's a comment for you, Howard. Uh, definitely not baby boomers. Um, so Patrick, that's a good question. How would spend putting this website together? I don't know. You should ask him. Okay, uh, maybe po wait. When I post the comments on the um, on Facebook, could you actually post the Facebook want people to comment on it? You can ask him that question. So by the way, this uh, little blue box, it's nicely done. Okay, I mean the copy can be changed a little bit. Okay, but that blue box should really be on the home page. So if you took away that. Um, if you took away these two things, free gift and this, and put that blue box up here and put it above the fold, it will work a lot, lot better. And the content, what the blue box says, you can actually take the stuff, like this stuff, the nine emails. That's really good. The nine emails you get, right? Put it in that little blue box. That will actually work a lot, lot better. And then you put a little privacy policy at the bottom. And uh, let's see, con contact. Let's see, contact. All right, contact me just to fill out form, okay? So um, in general, I think this is a pretty good website, very, really good start. Any other comments for uh, Howard? Any other comments? Pretty good start. He can make some very easy, uh, actually, should, and nothing is easy, but improvements, I'll make it a lot better. Call to action, above the fold, get away with the free, the free meals, free stuff, free this. But it's a very, very good start.